As should expect, what well, you know from Never Love, we have some old flavors and old tastes, and we have some new flavors and new tastes on the record. It's more moments than like a favorite song. Like I have some like moments where I'm like, <laughs> holy shit. LP1 has a lot of crazy different sounds and a lot of different songs that I wrote over the span of the last two or three years. If I had to corner this record into three albums, I would definitely say it has some uh, Siamese Dream Smashing Pumpkins vibes, Pinkerton by Weezer vibes. And then I would say like if you meshed up Newer Green Day with like 21 Pilots with like, I don't even know. This feels like Smashing Pumpkins must have felt like at the inception, like right at the beginning. And I, I really like being there for the beginning of projects. It's been, it's just been such a fun ride so far and I know we're just getting started. When we work together, I'll feel like a song might be missing something and he knows where to go with it and vice versa sometimes. And he's a funny dude, super, 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 super funny dude, uh, really smart. And it's just always a bunch of goofing off. I say this dumb line all the time. I say dare to suck. If you don't try this, stuff, then you have no idea if it's going to be cool or not. Matt really pushes us to be better artists, and one thing that I love about working with Matt, his whole idea is to just bring out who you really are as an artist. You'll find your knacks and kinks and all that great stuff, what makes you who you are, and, and find a way to just really make it shine, and, and that's the best part about working with him. It sounds like a record that we spent a Three much longer on. time on. Right. I'm like, I, ha I haven't really experienced that. He's done some of my favorite records dating back to A Fever You Can't Sweat Out by Panic! The Disco and So Wrong It's Right by All Time Low all the way up to the pop stuff like One Direction and Ariana Grande and so much to learn from him. And every time I work with him, I just become a better writer and he just is always on the same wavelength, it feels, as an artist and producer. It's the weird accidents that have happened. You know, there's been a couple moments where like something didn't feel right in a tune and all of a sudden somebody acknowledged it. And this is sort of my favorite aspect of any full length record is those moments where like you're making 12 songs, you need to make them all stand out from each other. There's something about having to do that task that brings out something really magical in artists. My studio has always been called Sound of Maryland because look where we are. We're in fucking Maryland, bruh. There's been a lot of great records that have been done here. There's two that really stick out to me, and it's gonna be the Boys Like Girls self-titled record. Such a great record. And then another one that's just like, what the hell, um, would be the Theory of Three Want record. A lot of these records shape my middle school and high school days. It's crazy to be in the same studio as this. If there's one thing I want someone to take away from this LP, and it, it's more than just music, is if you really love something, I mean, just go after it. Anyone can achieve anything, and I'm here right now talking about this LP where three years ago is such a far-fetched dream. You know, nothing happens overnight, but just stick to it, work hard, and if you love something, just go after it.